Hey folks, how you doing? How you been? Laducium here, continuing to play through CK2. We are in Ireland. We can actually create the Kingdom of Ireland. Right now we just have this kingdom, this petty kingdom of Connacht. Uh, but we do control a good portion, I would say. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We control 50, over 51% of Ireland. But still, we're still vulnerable. Um, so we're gonna unpause the game here. Um, we need to replenish our armies, our liege levies. So while we're doing that, let's see if anybody would be willing to join if we offer vassalization. No, 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 no. We request excommunication on anybody. Probably not. The Pope probably doesn't like us that much because we're not crusading. Kind of ignoring him. No. Well, that's a disappointment. All right, can I assassinate this guy? Not well. So we're gonna hold off. We're gonna raise money and we're gonna raise uh, troops. And once we have enough of both, we can then go a uh, waging war. We're also at age 57, which means we could die anytime. My liege, my mission to Connacht has so far been a success. So this guy's convincing the bishop here to like the Pope slightly less. Which is good, because if we look at our vassals here, where's our bishops? Um, well, they don't. They still don't like us that much. This guy has an 81 opinion of us, this guy's got a 31 opinion, but we're getting there. This guy loves us and give, is giving us a ton of troops. I would like this guy to like us, because uh, he's got two counties and would probably give us a lot of troops as well, but what can you do? All right, so, um, yeah, this lady, you know, she, oh, this is a different courtier. Screw it. Temptation's too much for an old man like me. Uh, I went to Lenora's chamber and had, gave her a good tumble. So, we've wrestled. No matter how discreet I have been with my lover, my... <laughs> He'll still manage to grow suspicious of my behavior. I think I might have to have tried too hard to be inconspicuous. So tell her it's none of her business and we get the uh, proud trait. Tell her you do important things and we get deceitful. Make empty promises to her about spending more time. 70% uh, chance no effect, 20% chance we get into sea wool, uh, and 10% chance we have a fallout. Spend more time at home as she wishes. 50% uh, no effect. 35% we get humble, 25% um, we have no love left for each other. Let's try to get humble. Everyone deserves respect and I will give it to them. I've gained the humble trait. That might be good. It might be bad. Do people like us more or less now? Doesn't affect this guy. Still pissed off about us killing his two-year-old brother. Um, both humble. So when we're both humble, that's good. And this guy almost likes us more than the Pope. So let's keep improving relations there. Or Empire of Britannia, Ireland, Petty Kingdom, County. Yep, it's, that is stuff we own. Ah. Uh, so, anyways. We are slowly getting more money. And just as importantly, we're getting our troops back. How are we doing here for troops? Uh, 723 out of 1299. And here, it's almost replenished. Another thing we can do is we can make improvements here, even though that'll be most of our money. We can get more troops, better fortifications. Uh, castle shipyard if we wanted to send out ships which I don't quite know about I, I can't build another holding yet that's gonna be a lot of money but eventually I will I probably won't build other holdings what I'll probably do is once I've conquered Ireland I'll move my capital to Dublin uh, which can allow me to have four holdings and that'll be better county capital yep yeah I want that <laughs> But I need this guy to fabricate the claim there first. Or, if I declare Ireland, I can just then claim everything as a de jure claim. 
But first things first, let's get in some troops and then we'll take Ulster. So this guy, one of our courtiers, died a natural death. They better not use it. Leinster's plotting against me. Doesn't matter. So he decided to go ahead and use the claim, that bastard. It's fine. I mean, I'm way ahead of him as far as uh, military goes. I wonder if I should invite one of my friends. Of course! Invite our friendly mayor. He likes us, we like him. Uh, no, we'll invite him. He's our friend. He never showed up, that son of a bitch! I rushed around trying to get everyone to work harder, not smarter. To get everything ready for the banquet when the guests started to arrive. I waited impatiently for Mayor Ruark, but he still did my best to make sure every guest felt welcome and found its designated place on my table. Alright, good, good, good. Let's slow things down just a bit. Hey, it's summertime. You know what we haven't done? Is we can hold a summer fair. It's going to cost us a bunch of money, but this should make the peasants happy. Maybe make everybody happy. We're still waiting on the military to replenish. We can actually get quite a bit from our liege levies, too. Our bishops like us. This bishop likes us a bit. An Arab monk is disturbing the summer fair by preaching about sins and the end of the world. His drivel is frightening some, but most of the crowd around him is mocking and laughing at him. He's just another part of the entertainment. We lose five piety, and the bishop... Um, Murdoch, this guy, d likes us a little bit less. He already likes us less. Kick him out, he does not belong in the summer fair. Local revolt risk, plus 1.5. You know what, I'd rather have the bishop like us a little bit less for a few years. It's fine. Maybe I'll have the bishop assassinated. <laughs> I'm getting a little too fond of assassinating people. All right. Mayor Finn is no longer guardian. Uh, no, is, is this guy one of our friends? Mayor Finn, yeah, he liked it, liked us a lot. That sucks. All right. Um, the peddlers are loading their wares, and the merchants are taking down their stalls. The jugglers, strolling players, and the other entertainers are preparing to leave. The summer fair is over for this year. It's great fun while it lasted. We gained 10 prestige. Uh, let's slow things way down, and then we'll do stuff. Uh, so what we can do is we can open council positions, and we can get a new chancellor. We need somebody with good diplomacy there, because we want them fabricating claims in Dublin. Why? No. Fabricate claims, Dublin. Thank you. Then what we can do is go and have our granddaughter get educated. Our daughter, I guess. Uh, and uh, you can educate her. It's fine. Good. That guy's got really high diplomacy, so we have an 18.78% chance every year of fabricating a claim. Uh, he's still not married. Yeah, I'll find him someone nice. Let's go find that guy somebody nice. Maybe we can even get a good alliance out of this. Uh, Norman, Frankish, Dutch, well, they're all good. Hmm. Any princesses? Princesses, please. Put your hands in the air. If you're a princess and you don't care. Honestly, though, a princess would be nice. Princess in the Holy Roman Empire. There we go. Uh, and we get more alliances. So this, we already have an alliance with them. This kind of helps uh, cement it. So yeah, we'll do that again. Unfortunately, we do have claims in the Holy Roman Empire because of our alliance. Right? I think. Like, we have claims over here because of reasons. Uh... Liege, liege. Declare war. Yeah, I have, due to people I've invited into my court, I do have claims on this area. Well, on Leon and parts of that Holy Roman Empire. I'm not going to press them. That would be kind of 
idiotic of me to do, but I do have claims eventually. Maybe I could press them. I, my liege, I believe that one of our vassals uh, has discouraged from associating with a conspiratorial faction, so it's the guy that doesn't like us. I'm going to leave him alone, because I don't want to piss him off. He could potentially be problematic. Um, so for now, we're going to leave him alone. So this guy, uh, the Kaiser, approves of the marriage. Our son to one of his princesses. And that's good. Now, back to our military here. 1751, how you doing? You do have an ally there. How are you as far as... Well, okay, we can check here, actually. Uh, you have 946 troops, and you have 89 troops, because we've wasted all your troops there. What about you? You do have a good amount if you come into this war. My liege, since I arrived, there's never been a shortage of troops, so we get a bonus to our uh, reinforcement there. Let's... We can always call in our vassal levies too, though. Crusade for Jerusalem fails. Jesus, it seems that uh, it seems does not favor the Christian faithful. Um, after a string of defeats and setbacks, Pope Conan II has called off the Crusade for Jerusalem against Caliph Abdul Mansur Al Nizar. All right, fine. Uh, all right, something else is happening. I just want to conquer Ireland. I thought I had thought something to be a more reasonable man. His request to be allowed to duel his rival was slightly erratic. Be constant to affronts from his rival and ask permission to defend his honor. Allow the duel, what will happen? That guy's opinion changed by 35. Who is this guy? Our courtier. Um, disallow it, but take no further action. Or uh, who's banished to Ormond? Courtier. Do I care about him? Let's take a look. We claim the county of Leon, so he does have what we claim. Yeah, sure. Go, go nuts. Uh, you want to duel? You can duel. Uh, you know what we'll do? Let's slow things down quite a bit. And let's take a quick moment to see if anybody wants to get married. Uh, we have a lot of people that want to get married in our realm. Let's focus on our court first and foremost. Um, why are you single in, in our realm? Marry a ruler, I see. Well, tough. <laughs> uh, you want to get married, though. Um, hmm. Hold on, you you're 30. Uh, can we get an alliance with anybody through marriage? Not particularly. Will anybody marry you matrilinearly? Uh, only... well, yeah, some people will. Can we bring anybody good over if we marry matrilinearly? It's our son. Get no alliance from that marriage. Nobody really good. This guy could potentially be a decent spymaster eventually. But he is our spymaster. <laughs> what the hell? All right, um, these are Marsha. Yeah, only people in our court will marry her matrilineally. Uh, let's send her away. She's cruel, which is fine. Scholar, mystic, skill tactician. Craven, ambitious, yeah. We'll send this ambitious lady away. How about to, uh, Poland? Gregarious, diligent, sure, whatever. Okay. So that was somebody. That was this lady. What about you? You're looking for a husband. No alliances. Hmm. Too bad I can't bring this guy over to join our court. Yeah, no, I can't. How the hell of it? Let's uh, marry you to this guy. Sure. Uh, let's forget about the women. Unfortunately, we have to focus on the people that are our current court and stuff. So, um, Princess of England wants to marry a ruler. 
Uh, unfortunately, that's not what we can do about that. Uh, Princess of Poland, courtier in Venice, and Samaria ruler. No alliances, huh? That's fine. Let's marry you to somebody. Maybe somebody with good stats, actually. Who has good intrigue? Does anybody have good intrigue? You have 22. You'd make a good spy master. I don't like the fact that you're ambitious, but it's fine. Yeah, let's do it. Yes. So hopefully she comes to our court and we'll get a good spy master out of it. So that's something. Let's see who else do we want to marry. So let's do this. Gender, men in prison. No, not that we have anybody in prison married. No. And okay, so these two are the only ones that want to get married. So that guy's fine with it. Guy's fine with the marriage proposal. And that guy's fine with the marriage proposal. So we did get a new person in court. Uh, so this guy, who was our spy master, is going to be replaced with his wife. No? I thought I could have women. Our mom could, could be a spy master. She's 79 years old. I don't understand, because sometimes I'm allowed to have women in some of these roles, sometimes I'm not. It's weird. Alright, whatever. I thought she would have made a great spy master, because she had fantastic intrigue, but... So be it. Uh, this guy wants to get married, our marshal. Let us go and find him a wife. Still no alliances, that's fine. Who's got good learning skills? Maybe we'll bring her over. She can help train people, wrathful, mastermind, theologian. All right, sure. I don't think there's a lot of benefit to learning other than it's there. And we're good, okay. So we're getting there military-wise. I think I'm, I'm good enough to claim this. Uh, so let's go ahead and declare war. Worst case scenario, I can always uh, call in uh, my liege levies, or I could always raise some troops through mercenaries. See if we can avoid that, though. Let's go and meet up in Oriel there. The Glorious King may live in harmony and contentment. I accept your suggestion. So that guy's married. Good. Do that again. So these guys want to be married. Well, they don't want to be married, but they're not married right now. Our son here. Let's get him married. Sure. Maybe he'll hate us slightly less. And this does give us a bit of an alliance because he is kind of a ruler here. Polish princess. There we go. That works. Now let's go ahead and merge these two armies, and boom, lead our war. And pause, speed things up a bit. This guy. Maybe I should have tried to have him assassinated first. To the heroic king, peace be with you, he accepts our suggestion. Good. Again, getting us potential allies. Uh, so we have allies here and here and here. It's all good stuff. But first things first, let's conquer this thing. We're doing good. So far, so good. As long as he doesn't call in help, we won't have to call in help. Got the victory there. Where are you going? You're going to Tyrone. So we're going to follow you. And hopefully, defeat you once and for all. Well, probably not. Never works out that way. Nope. Oh well. It's worthy. Worthy attempt. He's going back to Ulcer. So the nice thing about this is we're actually going to get this territory, which will make us stronger because it gives us more personal uh, levies. Demzy, Demnies, levies, whatever it's called. But yeah, it'll make us stronger for doing this. Us personally. 
which is important. So now we just have to wait 75 days. Ugh. Let's speed things along. And at this point, uh, lo longer spy master. So we lost our spy master for some reason. He died. Suspicious circumstances. We did bring his wife along, who is not only has awesome intrigue, but she's an elusive shadow, is ambitious, is zealous, envious, and uh, yeah, she's she's pretty crazy. Can I make you my spy master now, <laughs> please? You're awesome. Ah, you suck. All right, well this guy wants to be spy master, and he's the best we have for intrigue. So there you go. All right. Um, Slow things down just a bit. Okay, all right. So you, troops came from somewhere. Um, I don't like that. So what we're gonna do is raise our liege levies. You guys only got five troops. It's kind of upsetting. Uh, and then we're going to hopefully be able to get here in time to reinforce the troops that we do have here. I'm thinking we. We'll be fine. I hope. We're actually doing pretty well as far as putting up a fight goer, kicking some ass. We got some bonuses from Hills. Uh, we captured a count as a prisoner. This guy is retreating to where? Oriel. So he's going here where we already have a bunch of troops. Excellent. Oop. So, yep, we're going to kick his ass here. Victory, where are you going now? You're going to Dublin. All right, so these guys, we'll use these guys to chase them down. And this guy can continue the siege here. 23 days, 22 days, good. So it's a multi-prong kind of attack. And we'll forget about that stuff. I don't know what's going on. Been attacked. They've been attacked. Good. It's fine. All right. Um, these guys are against us too, but it's fine. We'll fight them off. We'll do the best that we can. Most importantly, we finish this war. We get Ulster. We replenish our troops, and then we go after the rest of Ireland. Let's go squash this army. Uh, my prisoner is complaining. No. If I can ransom you for money, though, maybe. This'll, by squashing these troops, it'll make it easier to conquer later on, too. So, be a good win win. Right now, we get better war score, and then later on, it'll be nice for us. Where are you going? Dublin? Yeah. We don't even have anybody leading these guys. Oh, jeez. We're still doing well, but probably be doing better if we had good leaders. It's fine. It's fine. Maybe we'll capture some more people we can ransom. All right. You know what? Uh, no. That's one and a half. Not unit. Uh, no. No. Don't want to do that. Was trying to do was assign somebody to this army, but I guess I can't for whatever reason. No character. There we go. Uh, you and you. Assassin spread to Syria. That's the thing. I'm more concerned about our war right here. So we do have a couple of leaders now. Not that it's a big deal. We're kicking these guys butts pretty badly so they're gonna go back to Dublin and these guys are still sieging so I have a ways to go but I think we'll be fine unfortunately we can only claim the one territory that we're fighting for we can't actually claim Dublin even though they joined the war or Desmond or Leinster uh, even though they joined the war against us and that's kind of a shame so what we're gonna do now is go and dismiss our liege levies so they can replenish and also so they stop hating us. I probably should have dismissed them in our own land. I think we gained more 
we lose less soldiers if we dismiss them in the county that we own. That was kind of dumb of me. That's fine. Uh, and let's leave things be. My liege, I have good news. The bishops convinced the other bishop to like the pope a little bit less. Alright, come on. Let's do this thing. We're losing war score, which stinks. And they're replenishing troops slowly, but they are replenishing their troops. But this will get us a win here. Yes, it did. 93% still. Probably not good enough, but let's try it. Offer peace. Uh, enforce demands. No. Uh, all right. More troops. That's a good thing. If I chase down this army... Prisoners complaining. If I chase down this army... I might be able to do it, but or I could just wait here. We're getting 6.7%. Um, either way, we're, we'll get this, so I might as well just wait here. Victory. All right, 100%. So let's pause. Let's go to offer peace and enforce demands. The war is over. We get that county, I think. No, we don't. For whatever reason, we don't get that county. That sucks. All right, let's go to a county we control, and we'll drop our levies. And now we wait. Now we play the waiting game. Um, and what I'd like to do, actually, real quick, is to hold a feast. It'll cost us 25 gold, which is fine. I'm more concerned about raising people's opinions of me. Hopefully this will do it. Best part about preparing a feast is deciding what food stuff to serve. I must purchase venison. Yeah, spend enough. Yes. Uh, most of the preparations are complete. Now we have to invite the guests. We're going to invite the bishops, the earls, the mayors, and stuff. Hopefully everyone can attend. And you know what? Uh, the guests have finally arrived. Everyone's here. It's good nobody didn't arrive. Everyone drank and we're happy except Mayor Carlos, who refused more wine. This insulting gesture means that he does not appreciate my hospitality. So I think less of him, but I don't care if I think less of him as long as he thinks well of me. What I am also going to do is because I'll be able to claim all of Ireland eventually, I'm going to recall our bishop there and instead I'm going to have him fabricate claims in Wales. Because we'll go to Wales eventually, I think, because Scotland's going to be tougher to take on. Uh, Ryan, Michael is no longer guardian. Okay. Uh, King Raedric died, so we died. Died a natural death. Long live King Tag the Second. That's our son. He's 40 years old. So be it. What's going on? We have two children that needs educating. They're probably our... Okay, our daughter is fine. Uh, who was the other child there? Our other daughter... Oh, I don't care. Uh, learn. We're Norwegian, though. Hmm. Who's Irish? This guy. This Italian, Polish, Irish. This guy. Uh, this guy's okay. Paranoid. I don't want paranoid or ambitious or cynical. So, you seem nice, shy, deceitful. That's good enough. Uh, but you're Polish. Problem is you're foreign. Eh, you're fine. This is whatever. It's our daughter. Right now she is our heir, actually, so we do. Our wife is 55 years old. Ooh. We married for political reasons. We need we need a better heir. We can't have a daughter as an heir. That could be problematic. Can we plot to kill our wife? Intrigue? Choose plot to kill. Um, see Princess Ingrid dead. Uh, now the question is, who else will join our plot? Some people will. This guy will. This guy will. This lady will. Uh, so let's auto-invite people, and then 
afterwards we'll try to bribe some people to hopefully join our plot as well so we're up to 57 70 percent uh, let's bribe some people so we can get this thing accomplished opinion of me you should be easy enough to bribe send gift 20 gold it's reasonable who else you're on the fence that's like your sister man 20 gold sure that should push you over the edge send gift 20 gold yes uh, send gift 20 gold all right good uh, dangerous factions we'll deal with that in a second intrigue 95 percent 109 percent good we should be able to succeed then killing our wife uh, sure I'll release you um, if we can kill our wife we can marry somebody younger Ooh. Ooh. our half-brother uh, leader is this guy and our half-brother uh, wants so this is the problem with having so many siblings and uh, primogenitor as everybody wants in on something we can't plot to kill him at the same time can we assassinate him we don't have the money and I don't even know if we'll be able to I can grant him honorary land he will like us a little bit more hmm no I guess I'm gonna wait and then what I'll do is probably try to kill him next let's kill our wife so we can have more kids and hopefully have um, a daughter the problem that I have right now is that uh, well first of all I'm just starting my reign second of all I don't have any sons third of all I have a lot of siblings and they all have claims and I don't own a lot of territory myself even though I could own up to six holdings uh, most of it is owned by my vassals or vassals of vassals so those are all problems anyways folks I'm gonna put a break in this video I hope you enjoyed this episode if you did please show your support leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already you get updates whenever I post new stuff and as always when we come back we'll play some more Crusader Kings 2 but until then my name is Leducium and I'll see you guys later bye